There are two common problems when you're learning about triangles and trapezoids. The first one is a triangle and trapezoid design, where you're given one part of a shape. So what you have to imagine is that there are going to be adjacent figures that are congruent. So in your mind, you have to imagine that there's going to be another kind of design over on this side. There's going to be another congruent design over on this side. And that's going to continue for however many designs you have. So the first key step when you're trying to find missing angles is to ask yourself, well, how many do you have in the total design? The reason why that's important is because you're looking to find this vertex angle of the isosceles trapezoid. The way you're going to calculate x is you're going to say, well, if all of these designs are congruent, you know that they're going to sum to 360 degrees because it's going to be a circle. So if I want to find just one of these congruent angles, I'm going to have to divide by the number of designs that we have. So if I told you that this was a part of a 12-piece design, you would find this isosceles vertex angle by dividing 360 by 12. Once you know that angle, then you can find the two base angles, and then you know that you have vertical pair of angles. Excuse me, not vertical, you have a linear pair of angles. So these two angles have to be supplementary. And you have corresponding congruent angles. So you know that you can just find the rest of your angles. Excuse me, so we have one, two markings there and one marking here. So the key to solving this problem is finding that vertex angle by dividing 360 by how many you have. The second key type of problem that you'll see is the trapezoidal arch problem. In this one, you're going to have congruent isosceles trapezoids that make up an arch. And you're probably going to be asked to find the angles inside that trapezoid. So what you have to imagine is that this is part of a polygon that extends down below where you can't really see. The other thing you have to remember is that if there are one, two, three, four pieces up here, there's going to be one, two, three, four pieces down here. So you're going to have n equals 8. You're going to have an 8-sided polygon. So the first thing you're going to have to do to find x is you're going to have to find this interior angle. The reason why is if we zoom in over here, if I draw in where we have angle x and angle x, and I know that these have to be congruent because we have congruent isosceles triangles, you're going to find this angle using your polygon angle sum formula, which says 180 times n minus 2 divided by n. So in this case, you would say that n is 8, and you'd plug it in, you'd get some number for your interior angle. Once you know that number, then you can say that x plus x plus this number must sum to 360 degrees. Once you know x, then you can find your y by knowing that consecutive angles must be supplementary. So those are the keys to keep in mind when you're talking about a trapezoid arch problem and a triangle with trapezoid design problem.